In this video, I'm going to show you how to tube rivet two pieces of copper together. So I've got my two pieces of copper, I've already got holes in both of them, and I've used a leather mallet to flatten them on top of a bench block. I should also have already done any filing or anything like that that I want to do, because it's going to be a lot harder once that's on top of that to do any filing. So I need to do any of that prep work first. That includes any designs and things that I want to do as well. So I've got my two pieces. I've got a piece of aluminum tubing that's the same size as the holes. And I want... I can use copper, brass, or aluminum tubing. I'm using the aluminum just so it's a little bit easier to see. If I did copper tubing, which is probably what I would have done on a piece of jewelry I'm keeping, but I think it's easier for you to see the aluminum. So hopefully you can see I made it with that mark about a sixteenth of an inch out from the piece of metal. I have it sticking out about the same amount there. So it's just a little bit more than the thickness of another sheet of metal on both sides. Now if I try and use a pair of wire cutters on that, that's going to just squish my tubing. So since it's hollow, I need a different tool. And that tool is this tube cutter. And it really is just a tube clamp. So I'm going to put my piece of tubing in there, and I've got that Sharpie mark there. And I need to actually change this a little bit. So I loosen the thumb screw there. I'm going to move this out until my Sharpie fits right where this miter box goes straight across. So it should be that to that, because I'm cutting just a straight across line. And I can bring this down there. This little piece holds that and clamps it on. Okay, so I'm just holding that clamp down. I've already strung my saw blade. I'm going to put a little bit of wax on to keep the saw blade from sticking as much. So a little bit of wax. And then I'm going to put my saw blade right in the straight across line. And sometimes you have to actually go away from yourself a little bit because it will catch. It'll snag. So it seems really awkward. And then it goes through pretty quickly. And then that tiny little thing is all I need. Don't throw away the rest of it, you're going to need that. And finding that right size tubing is actually kind of a challenge. If it's got any burrs, take a little bit of emery or your file over that very gently, and then you're ready to start riveting. And that rivet piece needs to go through, again, both of those holes, and it should stick out about halfway onto the other side. And there's a couple different ways that you can start that. One way is to actually take the little tiny ball peen hammer and just very gently start that flare. So the round part of that can go over. You can also sometimes, some people like to take the, the um, setting tool, but with the, cut, the aluminum it may be just a little bit too strong. You could also take a nail, but this aluminum is so easily bent, so I'm, right now I'm just hammering around it a little bit to kind of force it back in there because it's, it's so malleable. Okay, so now I'm going to take the back end of that again, and that's just going to round it right out there. I'm going to flip it over, and you basically just kind of go back and forth a little bit until you spread that out and get the level of compression that you want. And you may want to switch to a different hammer or the flat end. If you've got areas that are really delicately decorated, you could cover that if you wanted to. So I'm taking the round part and I'm kind of going around it. So I kind of mushroom that over. It was just really flat across there, and I want to bring it over. You don't want to hammer so much that it gets really thin and breaks off, but that's pretty much the tube rivet. And make sure that you've got it in the right place. So if it's offset a little bit, shift it back, and then do just little bit more hammering. I can take my, my nylon hammer. 
and that'll flatten that aluminum a little bit more, smooth that out a little bit without damaging anything around there. Okay, and that's all there is to the tube rivet.